What are you listening for? <laughs> hey boss, how you doing? <laughs> hey Blake, that's a, that's a good way to get a drink, but uh, we have a cooler with water in it. What's going on guys? It's Ralph with Pondscapes back out in Gilbert, Arizona for another pond build in a tight spot right there. All right, so what we have in store for this project is uh, about an eight by 10 pond right in this area. So we've got to pull up a bunch of pavers. We've got to build a waterfall right there. We've got to do some root barrier protection. We've got to do some concrete cloth because there's rats. And we're gonna have a cool stack slate urn integrated into the edge of the pond, right about here where this Orange Jubilee is. And our skimmer will be right back here. So we got to get to demoing. Hey, Jerry, demo time. All right, guys, here we are. We have got our clean canvas to work with. In a sense, <laughs> we don't know what's underground. Actually, we were scratching and uh, found that big root right over there. Good sign that there was a uh, tree there not too long ago. But what we're going to do, we've got our layout, this 12 foot by eight foot pond. That is where our biofall is gonna go. We've got to uh, build a retaining wall to uh, help keep that uh, pressure and moisture off of the existing fence block wall. And then what we're gonna do, this is a fairly new irrigation line. So we're gonna cut that and uh, reroute it up and over so it's not underground under several layers of dirt and rock. Uh, so if there is ever a leak or it needs to be uh, tapped into, it's not this low. So we'll cut that, splice it, run it up and over and get to building that waterfall after we dig the pond, of course, okay? All right, guys, not amazing progress, but progress nonetheless today. Taking up those pavers, we had to build that wall and this access is not ideal. No, you can leave it out there. See ya, bud. We are still able to get our equipment back here. It just takes a little bit longer and that's okay. We're planned for it, but this is where we are today. I would have liked to have had all of this excavation complete, but we still have another shelf to go and this still has to come out this way. So another full trailer needs to come out of here. Uh, and you can see this beautiful little yard. There is nowhere to store any more dirt so we have got to get this out of here and uh it, normally what will happen is that dirt gets flipped over and uh, creates the mound and elevation for that waterfall but you see that is uh nestled right into the corner so we're going to use boulders to create that waterfall and uh we don't need the dirt back here so that's why we got to get it out of here Jaren, you ready for the rain? I think today's looking pretty good. <laughs> Tomorrow we're supposed to get some heavy, heavy showers. Uh, stay away, please stay away. <laughs> All right guys, day number two. And uh, what we've got is a major headway that we have got to complete today. Because like I said, uh, the rain is coming and uh, we have got to finish the excavation of this pond in time for it to fill up with rainwater. <laughs> so our goal today is to get this thing totally dug out, get our skimmer installed, get our plumbing run to our biofall, get that biofall set and get our liner laid out and uh, protecting this from filling up with rainwater and creating a muddy mess. At least if it fills up with rainwater with our liner in place, we can pump it out and get to work. Now the rest of the yard, you may have seen on projects in the past, uh, some new projects, the uh, the side yard is nothing but dirt and when we get all that rain, it is a problem. However, we've got gravel here. This is a complete uh, mature landscape. So getting rain, depending on how much, we still may, able, may be able to uh, navigate down this pathway and to continue working without any heavy delays, right? All right guys, so now we are at the point where we got our trench line 
dug out for our root barrier. That is to protect the liner and the pond for future roots from this beautiful Hong Kong orchid tree. We just don't want roots coming and pushing on the back of the uh, rock work and pushing rocks into the liner or penetrating the liner potentially in the future. So we got that in, we're gonna backfill it, tighten it up, do our fabric and liner over it, and it'll be done. All right, guys, next day, we got boulders in the street. You know what that means? It is not too bad to work. We did get rain last night, but the weather people lied to us. It is not raining right now, and we're gonna take advantage and get as much done as we possibly can, just in case. But let's go see what actually happened overnight. Jaren. Don't step there. <laughs> There's a reason why we put that berm there. So all the water that made that muddy didn't end up under that liner. So you can see what our efforts did. It prevented that water. You can actually see where it was pooling right here. I did not want water going under that liner. So we do have a pool in the bottom of the pond, but that's cool. It's on top of the liner. We'll use our vacuum, pump that out right over and through the fence, and uh, we will have fairly dry conditions to work in. And just like that, we are bone dry and ready to start slinging rocks. All right, this is where we're gonna end things today. Uh, I think we did pretty good um, with uh, the material that we had and just uh, the two of us. So uh, what we're going to do, I'm gonna go get another load of boulders right now so we can come back and really get this thing hopefully completely rocked in tomorrow. And then also start working on getting that urn into place. I want to uh, get that situated and uh, we can tidy up the uh, that back edge and get some of this dirt that's kind of in our way. So probably what I will want to do tomorrow is uh, work on that side, get that urn set in, and then lose some of this dirt that's under this fabric back there and uh, get it all filled in nice. All right, the theme of this 2021 summer monsoon season is rain delay. Years past, we've been in monsoon season and we're like, eh. we actually called it a non-soon a couple times. Pouring cats and dogs this morning on the way here. Actually, this little hole of the valley in Gilbert that we're at right now didn't get a bunch this morning. Got dumped on last night, but enough to where we can still get our material to the backyard where we've got to do our work. All right, we are moving right along. Things are shaping up nicely. We've got uh, our urn in place, so you can kind of see what that is going to look like. And once we got that in place, we dropped in a nice boulder to play off of that. And then this just happened. We kind of got an idea that we want that water to come in right here. And we've already got the rock that's gonna go right here picked out. So we've just got to join these together. I would love to see if I can get a little bit of water coming around this way so we just drop this guy in and we will work around that way yeah all right guys so like we talked about earlier we have known rat issues in this area so this is concrete cloth so basically what that is it's a uh, portland cement infused fabric you can see how thick it is and see how dusty that is that's all that concrete dust so we're gonna lay this down below our liner and then put our liner backfill on top of that. <laughs> All that ground moisture is gonna come up and saturate this concrete cloth and activate it, harden it up like concrete. And then we will have no issues or worries about those critters coming in from behind, digging at that liner and causing problems. All right, 
right, so the next thing we're going to do to create this waterfall is we are doing a bib overlap. So you can see this is the liner coming out of the pond. It's not quite big enough to be one piece. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another section of liner, we're gonna tuck it in and overlap it above the pond liner, bring it up and attach it, and then we're gonna build our waterfall on top of that. So any of the water that potentially could leak through our rocks, it will ride on this liner and then roll down into the pond on top of the other liner so we have no issues with water loss. All right, here we are, final push. We've gotta get some edging done. The, the waterfall is all bibbed up, that's all sealed. I gotta make some adjustments. We test ran this, uh, there's a few things that I wanna change, but uh, for the most part, all that's done. We, we gotta to top off the biofall with some detail rock. Jaron right now is setting the lights. We've got the path light here, path light going in there. And of course we've got our light in the urn. And we're gonna do another light right here on this beautiful orchid tree. Blake, what have you got going on? I am digging my little trench so that we can edge this pond. Okay. Hey Blake, it's good yeah. to see you. Yeah, Thanks, Blake. Yeah, welcome back. At, uh, I'm, I'm Ralph, this is Jaron with <laughs> Pondscapes. It's good to have you. <laughs> Thanks, boss. All right, so here we go. Finally, ready to turn it on. Freckles, are you ready? Yes. You are ready? Are you gonna do the honors? You wanna plug it in? Yes. Okay, I'll have you plug it in. Shauna, you have been such an awesome customer. You have pretty much sat over there on that couch behind your curtain of mist, pointing at uh, what we should be doing, how fast should we should be working? Why aren't we done yet? But you've been so nice. I've been torturing you all day. That is still not on. You know how many times I've seen it run? I was gonna ask you if it works, but. All right guys, so I am super excited to see this up and running. I've only seen like glimpses of it, ran it for a few minutes, turn it off. Now it's time. Do you know how to turn it on? No. Okay, let's go do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll probably do it right there. No. So right now that biofall is welling up. Really? What? Oh my 